Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Harsh Mittal back again with another video where you will learn to import your UI created in your Qt designer in your Python code. Uh, this will be done using PyQt. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, there are basically two ways of doing it and I will explain them one by one. First, let's start with our UI. Here you can see I have created a very simple UI and I've added a bunch of different elements. Make sure you change your object name to the one that you, you will be using in Python code. So for the first method, we will actually call directly the UI file, right? So in the repository for which the link is in the description below open this file run ui.py in the python code first import pyqt and system library now you will have to create a new class and write the init function as you can see you just have to give the relative path to your ui file now rest of the code is pretty simple uh, you have to first initialize the queue widget application and then call ui class that you have just created it and finally execute it run the application and see as you can see our application is running perfectly fine now let's come to the second method in this method we will create our UI file to the Python code for this while installing PyQt an application called PyUIC5 will also be installed if in case it's not you're not able to find it in your install directory of PyQt then I'll also add this particular application in the github repository now enter the command pyusify.exe dash x test.ui dash o test.py so over here we will be giving input as our ui file and in the output we will be receiving our test.py file so once you run it you can see this file is created now when you open it you can clearly see that our ui file is now converted into python code see all this different object name are the same name that you have defined while creating the ui so now if you build it you get the same result as you got in the first method i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if i should make more in-depth video on this topic or any other topic that you would like to know if you want to plot live data coming over TCP from multiple clients in Qt using multi-threading then click the link on the screen. Also like share and subscribe to my channel.